This is Tara from Simple Day, and I'm on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. Today, I want to go back to basics and explain the basic structure of how Monday works. You always hear terms like workspaces, boards, groups, and I just want to explain exactly what each one is. So as you can see up here in the top left corner, I have workspaces. I have different workspaces here. I only have two. One's called main workspace and one call is called demo board. You can add a workspace or you can see all of your workspaces. Workspaces are usually used for different departments because it's a, it's a contained environment to put all of their information. Now, what I have in this specific workspace, you have almost a table of contents where you can see all your boards, your folders, and if you have dashboards or forms or documents, you can also put them here. So you have a table of contents within your workspace. Now I'm gonna get to boards. There are three kinds of boards. The first part is a main board, and you'll see this CRM board is a main board, and it's indicated by this icon. It just looks like a board. Anyone that's in your company that has a Monday.com account can see this board. The second one is a shareable board, and you can see this little share icon over here. A shareable board can be shared either with people in your company, but you need to give them access to it, or external people. Let's say you're working with freelancers or something, and they work on one specific Monday board. They're not a paid user on Monday, but they're a guest, and they can have access to this board. The third kind of board is a private board. So you can see here by this little lock, this is a private board. And I only can the only people that can see it are people that I specifically give access to, but only people that are in my company. So we have workspaces and then we have three kinds of boards. Now I'm going to move on to a specific board. Here I have a board that's called Monday Notes. And this is where I put just some things that I want to remember about different um either formulas or random things that are really cool that I want to remember about how to do something in the future. So on my board, you can see that I have groups. So if I, I can collapse all the groups and you can see here that I just have two different groups in this board and inside each group, I have items. So you have on a board, you can have different groups. And just to note, you can change the color. You can change the name. If you want to add a group, you can just do add new group. And then I have items. Now I have, it says add item. If I want, just so you know, I can change this. And instead of saying add item, I can ch change it to something else. I would click on the three dots, board settings, change terminology. Let's say I want to call it to add task or I want to do something custom. Um, I can call it a cool, cool thing. So let's just say, so I can change that. And if you look here, so it says add cool things. So just to summarize the way that Monday is set up, we have workspaces, which is usually by department. Then we have boards and you have a list or your table of contents of all of your boards in your workspace on your left side. On specific boards, you have different groups and you have different items. The last thing that I'm not really going to go into now is that you have different columns. So each board would have a column. Let's say I want to add a column. I have a whole bunch of columns here, or I can go into the column center and I have other columns here. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and let me know what cool things you have done with monday.com.